What's up, Yens? Dumpster on Wheels here. Today, I want to talk about how much mileage you may or may not be losing if you're an old schooler and you use a wheel sensor or you're a new schooler and you use a GPS. <laughs> So you may or may not know that like weird old guy that has been mountain biking forever and refuses to use a GPS computer because he wants to use a magnet on his spokes uh, or maybe a slightly modern uh, wheel sensor. But it kind of got me thinking, uh, are they onto anything? So I decided to do a little experiment and run in tandem a GPS. This is my trusty Garmin 520 that I'm running with uh, GLONASS and I'm recording once a second. So it should be pretty accurate. Uh, and then buddy Brent has graciously allowed me to borrow this Lazine Mega C, which does have a GPS, but we're using a Garmin speed sensor on my front wheel. So uh, how I calibrated my wheel, I can throw up a picture, but what I did was I put paint on my tire after airing it up to pressure I would ride. I uh, uh, put weight on the wheel, rolled it across a completely flat concrete surface, measured the distance in between the two dots of paint, and put that in as my wheel size. So it looks like things have come out pretty accurate, um, and I'm actually a little bit surprised by the results. I figured that I would lose a little bit of mileage in the woods, but I didn't think it would be as much as it actually is ended up doing a uh, 47 mile ride so the first section I rode on the road so we rode uh, the first 17.96 miles of the ride were on the road and across that I only lost half of a percent of my ride so I lost 0 0.09 miles uh, over almost 18 so that's uh, half a percent then I hit the woods. All right. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. Nothing to see here. trail section I lost 1.44 miles over 13.41 miles meaning I lost 10% of my ride in the woods um, it's kind of it's the middle of summer I guess you could say so it's dense foliage but I think a lot of it's due to the switchbacks that you just can't pick up even though you're recording every second on a GPS um, then I rode back to the start, so again, it was 16.3 miles on the way back home. And across that, I only lost 0 .004, or 0.4%. So it seems like the wheel sensor has been really pretty well accurate with the GPS on the road, meaning if you are a roadie, definitely no reason for a wheel sensor. But if you're a mountain biker, you may be a little bit surprised by how much you're losing. You're losing 10%. So if you ride 20 miles in the, in the woods, you're losing two miles. Um, it's definitely more than I thought. It's probably not enough for me to actually want to deal with juggling wheel sizes and different bikes amongst a wheel sensor or multiple wheel sensors. But overall, if you are particular about this type of stuff, you definitely probably want to try out a wheel sensor. So anyhow, that's a wrap. We've got some more videos coming up. Uh, if you like this kind of stuff, be sure to like and subscribe to Dumpster on Wheels. Put it over here. And as always, have a good day.